to the Art Matrix. It's Meg speaking, and this is part two of my trip in Europe, spending some time in Greece, a couple days in Corfu, and then a couple days in Athens. So here we are, traveling into Corfu. Um, it's an island off of Greece. Super beautiful beaches. The old town is quite historical and magnificent to see. So we're gonna take a little bit and get into it. Here we are, we're flying, um, heading into Corfu, and little did I know, there was a thunderstorm brewing just before I land. But anyways, next day, I'm traveling around, walking, trying to see how to get to Old Town, because I'm quite a bit far from it, from my hostel, but... I decided to just walk because the bus system was kind of confusing to know when and where it's going to be. But um, on my way there, which was, by the way, a 45 minute walk, I took my time and enjoyed the scenery. It was such a beautiful day after a thunderstorm that night. And just seeing the clouds, the water, everything was beautiful. And then finally made it to Old Town. And it's pretty small and compact, but the buildings have an old charm to them. So I decided to check out the old fortress of Corfu, and here you'll see a little temple that was converted into a church and then we're gonna climb up this little hill to the top to see the lighthouse <laughs> You can see the entire town from the top. Just this vast beauty of endlessness. After that, I went back into town to grab something to eat. Stopped at a local restaurant that had freshly fried codfish and some potatoes with a lemon seasoning it was really refreshing everyone was so friendly and hospitable and great people to have conversations with uh, the host was super friendly and it was very quiet and relaxing up until it started to thunder and then from there everyone slowly started to pack everything up and i was enjoying it i stayed outside until it started to pour really um, heavily and from there i went inside the restaurant and then um, enjoyed thunder the rain and then it eventually started to hail which was pretty interesting i went back to the hostel and took a nap and enjoyed the rainy weather don't forget to check out my website www.theartmatrix.co so you can check out when my new stickers will be coming out soon so keep an eye on that link is down below in the description all right, then I took some time to myself and Corfu for the last couple days, and then here we are in Athens, uh, taking the train to the city center where my hostel's located. It was another beautiful day, 
and I have to say this t this city was probably the one where I've seen the most graffiti um, everywhere and super super cool to see all right and then here I'm getting some coffee just before heading to the Acropolis which means high city in Greek and it holds one of the best um, views in Athens as well as has the Parthenon which is the ancient religious temple the Athenians had built for the Greek goddess Athena. Now here we are heading up the mountain to see all of the temples there and uh, I want to say this is the theater where, well, if I would point to it, here's the theater um, where they would have all of the Greek shows um, and performed, but we they also had famous Greek artists perform there currently too. Now, here we are heading up higher in the Acropolis and we'll get to see the Parthenon in a bit. Just, you can see how ginormous the city is and being able to see everything from the top is extraordinary. would be a bit bigger in person compared to you know the images but they're actually kind of smaller in size once you take a look at it in person like it doesn't do justice in this video just understanding how big it is but um it didn't seem as big as I thought it would be when seeing it in person, but here's the view from the very top. You can see the entire city all around and then right here is the temple of zeus and then everything else after that i headed downhill this time to the agora so then i can see the museum that they have there of a lot of their um, greek sculptures as well as sculptures of you know, athena um, Aphrodite and a lot of the students there actually sit and sketch the marble statues that are kept there but um here we are walking down pretty steep some in some areas but this is where I found a lot of the cute local restaurants and little shops um, super cute to see didn't stop and eat there but 
I definitely enjoyed my walk down. There was definitely a lot of stray cats as well, but I didn't uh, catch any videos of it because I was just too in awe of them and wanted to pet them so bad, so I kept my phones aside so I could keep my hands free. But um, here we are at the Agora. Beautiful area. Lots of greenery as well. Um, there's like a little walking park area in front of here. But these are the sculptures I got to see. And I don't know if I filmed any of the students working on their sketches, but I think it's pretty cool that the teachers bring their students out here to practice sketching um, and whatnot. And then a lot of the ceramics were kept here and what they used and this is the park area which leads to um, another temple across the way all right next up i headed to a spa which was interesting and then the after it was lovely but then after that i uh spent some time to myself, enjoyed what rest of the days I had, and then headed back home to Aradia. Um, and here I am back trying to get, you know, myself back in my glow. But it was such an amazing trip, such a great experience, and I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to go and explore these areas, especially Brussels which, you know, I had said before that someone had told me I was destined to be there or see it or visit, and I did it. And I, two years ago, I, I never would have thought I'd been able to do this, but here I am in a whole other country getting to see many more countries. And I really got to know myself and really see things for myself that I didn't have to count on anyone to help me with. You know, it's it's another thing, you know, if, if someone helps you along the way and whatnot, but being able to do something on your own, by yourself, it's a different kind of feeling. It's empowering, especially, you know, as, as someone born female, um, it's, it's a whole different kind of world. For us but um I I definitely don't regret anything I appreciate everything and I really hope that if you have the opportunity to do something like this do it because it's once in a lifetime and you don't know what's gonna happen the next day so you only have today right now right here and if the opportunity calls take it because it's worth it and those who don't support you in doing something for yourself that's fine that's them they can do what they want with themselves because that's their life and this is my life so I'm, I'm happy for those who stuck around with me and care for me and appreciate and support me in everything that I choose because I know that I'll do that for them too. And that's it for today. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you want to see anything else. I am currently spending my days painting as much as possible. So I have like eight different kind of paintings at the moment and uh, all inspired by creating my own little world uh, on a new planet where, you know, humans, AIs, aliens, you name it, but um, let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see in the next video, I can definitely do paint with me's, and uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great day, bye!